What is happening guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Sword. So we are in a new city and I actually just got done playing with young Nelson in the camping area uh, just to see if this thing would get a little more friendly toward us. He is holding that Soothe Bell still. Uh, level 44, this thing should theoretically evolve sometime soon. So we're just going to keep you there and hope that we can get you some happiness. So um, let's try to do some exploring. Apparently we cannot go in here. Looks like some sketchy it's like a sketchy place that 10 year olds are not allowed in, so uh, the Team Yell people are chilling right here, or at least one of them. So Marnie's hanging out with the, with the shutter closed, nobody's going to be able to challenge the gym, I'm going to look into this. It's got to be terrible for business. I just happen to have too many of these, so I'll give you one. Got it? You can handle it yourself, right? And we get ourselves Piers League card. Uh, so that's cool. So assuming Piers is the next gym leader. Oi! Welcome to Spike Myth, kid. Hope you're ready for the gym mission. Hold on, mate. If you're going to take on the gym mission, you better change your uniform. Change any of your uniform. Are we going right for it right now? Straight ahead from here. All right, so really not a whole lot going on in this city. We kind of just... Whoa. Of course, they're just hanging out in the alley waiting for me. You want to get past me, but I don't want that. Basically, it's a battle between our desires. So we haven't had a whole lot of encounters with these Team Yell people. I like how they're not even like an, they're not even an evil team in this game. They're literally just some... <laughs> Just some fanboys that uh, are pretty weird. So we have Dumbo in front. Uh, we're probably going to be using Surfetched a lot in this next upcoming gym because it's going to be lots of dark types. But we can take a Fury Swipes nice and easy. We're also going to be level 47 here pretty soon. We're almost level 50 before the final gym, which is ridiculous. Seems like... Damn, all the crits. Stop that. Hit us, hits us five times but does like no damage. And now you're going to pay the price. Iron Head... Easily knocks this thing out. When are you going to have an Obstagoon? Dumbo grows to 47. Oh, looking nice. You and your Pokemon broke through. Get $3,300. Thank you. Do I have to battle the other one too? I don't want to let you through. That's why I was waiting all squeezed in this crack. <laughs> but since I lost, it was really all for nothing. Whatever. You won, so step aside. Well, other girl apparently doesn't want to battle. So you would think there would be actually some hidden items. There's really nothing going on in this, in this city. Can't even go any into it. This place looks run down as hell. Does anybody even live here? What's going on? It's you guys again. Mr. Mime is a dancing Pokemon. Makes for a cheery member of our team. You know the Pokemon move light screen. Uh, yeah. Hey, there's a Mr. Mime right here. What are you doing, buddy? Some kind of invisible wall. You can't get through no matter how high. Okay, well. So then we go stand by the door, and that activates them to do something. What's this? A gym challenger made it through? All us Team Yell members have blocked the way. Don't you think? We'll just let you waltz through. Okay, so now we actually have to battle her. So that makes sense. Maybe you're a little bit more difficult than your fat friend here. We'll see. You got a Thievel. So, not all that scary. We can just, uh... Likely just iron head the hell out of you. Level 42, so... Not all that bad. We should also probably switch out... Copperaja. And, uh, damn, that actually does a decent amount of damage. But an Iron Head is going to knock you out. So down goes the Thievul. I honestly feel like I like that thing's pre-evolution more than how it looks evolved. Barney 47, Nugget 46. Looking good, boys. Looking good. I wasn't able to properly greet you. To properly greet me? What? That was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon are in awe of you and your team. Here, go on through. Check out our neon signs while you're at it. Okay, so you're going to like call off your Mr. Mime? That was weird. Uh, and Mime's like, I gotta head on out of here. <laughs> He's like, well, I'm a head out. <laughs> so, uh, cool. And now the neon sign is now lit, and it tells me to go that way, I, I guess. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're gonna switch the lead here. Let's put... We'll put you ding up there. Just get you some extra levels before you have to go brick break the hell out of some gym leaders. So, alright. Continuing this way. What do we have? There is a hidden item there. Oh, I'm yelling for no reason. This is like a real... Team Yell episode, it seems. Damn. Super sweet flips. Did I surprise you? I'm a little surprised how much my legs hurt from that landed. If I'm still standing, if I stand still like this for long, it'll hurt so bad I might cry. What? what? These people are a bunch of bitches, man. Alright. So, more Team Yell battles. Yeah, you got a Scrafty, so that's actually... That's pretty impressive. I managed to get himself a Scrafty. We are, uh... Why did it seems like it wants to be petted? What? Why do I want to be petted? So when they shake like that, it seems like that's what, what happens when you go and like camp and play with them a lot. It like makes them friendlier toward you, so then they... Assuming they help you out and live with like 1 HP, kind of like they do in Let's Go, which is 
kind of annoying, but or like it gives you a higher crit chance when they're more friendly towards you like that. Interesting. Well, if it's true that I lost, but I pushed through the pain, so you should praise me for that. All right, now the pain's gone, I guess I'd better get out of here. Well, see you later, nerds. Well, now we're gonna go ahead and grab this here Pokeball. It's a max revive, so that's nice. Can I go into any of these places? Cannot. Basically just run straight to the right until I'm assuming we end up at a gym. But there's another Mr. Mime, so. Hmm. We cannot get through. Oh, and then we'd run back the other way. The HP of your Pokemon not looking so good. Ooh. Holy shit, that was pretty dope. You guys should be like gymnasts. Why are you fanboys? Popstar will be jealous of these moves. Were you surprised? Oi, be surprised. You, while you're in utter shock, I'm going to sneakily win this battle. How many of you people do I have to battle? What if this isn't an actual, like, san san sanctioned gym, if I could ever talk? It's just like a Randy that's like the, the, the lord of the Team Yell people waiting at the end. And these are like the, the minions in front of the gym. All right, Weavile's got the pressure. And we are going to Brick Break you. So we haven't seen a Weavile yet. We've seen plenty of Sneasels. This thing's going to go for a Hone Claws. Which is actually kind of spooky. Young Wolverine over here looking nice and sharp. But a Brick Break will probably do the trick. Yep, we are just out here one hit KO and everything. Even though that was a critical hit, but Weavile probably could not have taken that. Level 43 boy is now dead. And we out here getting some experience. Huh? Seriously? You gotta be kidding. It's over already? Sure is. You shouldn't have used Hone Claws. That was... It's a bad move. I should have been practicing my battle skills, not my backflip skills. Thanks for showing me that. Guess I'll cheer from you. Oh. Cheer for you from now on. They, they're my... My fans now. Well, we'd love to see that. And yeah, Mr. Mime goes running away. So, continuing. There's the trash can. It can't go in any doors. We basically just... Just keep running. Oh wait, we can kind of go in here. I guess that's the only way to go. Team Yell takes the field. This might be our gym challenge, but I won't let you ruin our cool secret hangout. All right, time for a pincer attack. We'll do whatever it takes to win. You get a, a pincer? Hello? That's right, Team Yell is actually made of Spike Myth gym trainers. It is, so I guess that makes sense. Well, the guy on the left looks different. And uh, it's now the gym trainers. Weird. What is this? What is this gym? I'm confused. Well, so we got Surfetched and Toxtricity. We're gonna brick break on the light part, and then how about we Overdrive on both of you? Ooh, we have yet to use Overdrive in a double battle, so it's cool to see that it attacks, it attacks both of them. Toxic spikes. That is fine. Probably not gonna do a whole lot of switching. So let's see how much the overdrive does. Nice, so it knocks out the light part and does a bunch to the Drapion. Very nice. So now we brick break in the Drapion slot. Does knock you out. And uh I do love me some Drapion. This thing's really cool. Look at the battlefield. We're like on a pile of sludge. What's going on here? Well, would have been better if you just lost to us. <laughs> Yeah, I assume so. These people must all be related. You all look exactly the same. Whatever. Our gym leader's up next, but he's really strong. Got that? Ooh. I mean, everybody already knew the true identity of Team Yell, right? That means I won't get in trouble for no get for not getting my disguise on, right? I sure hope so. Hmm. So we're about to take on the gym leader next? Wild. Maybe we should heal up before we get into anything here. We have 11 Hyper Potions. I have a Max Potion and a Max Revive. Should probably restock on Hypers. You know what, let's actually just talk. Maybe Marnie's gonna hook us up before the gym. Shut your gob. Oi, Hayden. I just actually just said oh, but I'm just feeling more British than usual. A lot from Spike Myth's telling me they locked down the city for my sake. What? Spike Myth just keeps getting worse and worse. All Pierce says, don't worry. So, so we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other challengers. What? We thought if we could stop the other gym challengers from reaching the gym, the gym that Mar Mrs. Marnie would be the only one to win. And make the champion cup. Smart. We figured that that would increase the chances of wonderful Miss Marty becoming the new champion. Sorry. That's no way to help someone at all. She's like, what the hell? Uh, no need to bother with all the preparations or whatever. Go on in and face the gym leader. Nice. So, okay. This is looking like a damn cage fighting arena. But let's go ahead and get ourselves into it. No need to bother with any of the preparations. Did you, like, heal me or what? You didn't. 
kind of want to bother with some preparations. So let's let's go ahead and make sure we healed up here. Just to have a couple hyper potions. And we should be good. Should ding. We're just going to use a hyper get you to full, which is complete overkill, but it's fine. And we get Dumbo to full as well. So let's see what we got going on over here. Oh, it's a little concert. I really wish there was voice acting. Like, why? Why are you not saying anything? This is. I'm confused. <laughs> I can't tell if they are liking it or if they're booing. And then there's me just standing back there in my jersey. Sigh, you're finally here, huh? See, I'm, I'm really not that. Not a great gym leader. I figured that's why no one was coming to challenge me. No, the door is closed, sir. You could just go open the garage. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can even Dynamax our Pokemon. We can't even Dynamax our Pokemon, but well, I still hope you enjoy the battle. Uh, so that's kind of weird. We can't Dynamax, but I guess we're about to get ourselves <laughs> into a gym battle here. Kind of a makeshift gym. They all go stand behind the cage. Not a whole lot of, a lot of crowd action in this one, but let's do it. I'm the gym leader of Spike Myth Piers, the dark type user. You want to challenge me even though you know you'll lose? The song's for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike Myth, it's time to rock. All right. Well, let's get it. Gym number seven. A little bit underwhelming, but here we have Piers, who looks dead inside. And he's going to hit us with a Scrafty. Okay, nothing we haven't handled before. Chiding should be all right with this, depending on what levels you are. Intimidate the opponents. So it does have the Intimidate ability, which is not that great for us. It's going to definitely take us a couple Brick Breaks to knock you out, especially after an Intimidate. Now you're going to fake out too? Well, that only helps me because I have Steadfast. So thank you for that. Fake out is a Steadfast user's favorite move. Now we can just Brick Break and hopefully get a crit. That was well over half. Now you're going to Sand Attack. Oh my god, did you just spit sand at me? The Scrafty is a straight up dickhead. Well, one more Brick Break if we can connect. We sure do. You don't give a heck about the sand in our eyes. And that was a crit. Always a crit when you don't need it. All right, one down, three to go. Kind of a bummer we can't Dynamax here, but next is a Malamar. So not the best for our fighting boy. Uh, for Malamar, I don't really have much. We could just go into, let's let Nugget do it. We're bulky. We'll have, we'll have an easy time with Nugget, I suppose. Unless this thing actually has Superpower, which I assume it might. Level 45 Malamar. Gonna mess you up with his contrary ability. I'm gonna go ahead and doubt it. So we got a level on this thing at least. Um, let's go for. Let's just go for a Rock Blast here. So it is gonna foul play, which probably will hurt quite a bit. Okay, not not a super big amount of damage, but we gotta hit like five times to even do anything to this damn thing. Two times. Not what we were looking for, Nuggets. Come on, young Nugs. All it's going to seem to do is want to foul play, which is fine. Still sitting at above half. Let's hit it five times, please. Okay, three times? That's fine. This next one should be able to do the damn job. Doesn't seem like the opposing trainers ever use a lot of potions. I was going to say we didn't knock it into potion range, but it doesn't never really see those anyway. Also, we get the flame body ability to work, which is kind of nice. Doesn't matter, though, because this Malamar is now dead. So... A little bit too late for the flame body shenanigans, but we'll take it. And two down. Nelson grew to level 45. Nice. Maybe we'll evolve. Who knows? Next is the Obstagoon. All right. So, I do feel like we have seen an Obstagoon already, but quite the interesting fella. We're going to go right into Chiding on this thing. And he hits us with the Gene Simmons. Look at his little jacket. <laughs> Such a weird thing. Time to meet another member of my crew. Face the proud high roar of my abs obstacle. Interesting. Dozing off. What? Chiding? This is not the time to be dozing off, buddy. What the hell is that? If I fall asleep next turn, I'm going to be so pissed. It's going to obstruct. Yeah, it's just going to protect itself. So I could have gone for a Swords Dance there, which would have been a great play. But that actually drops my defense harshly. That is... That is not good. Maybe we switch out then. This thing's going to knock my ass out. Um, we could go into Dumbo. Try to do some Dumbo shenanigans. You know, let's do it. We're going to bring in the huge ass elephant. 
just to show you what a real Pokemon looks like. Ooh, I like the Sableye sign back there. Super cool design. All right, so here's a Shadow Claw. Yeah, we take that nicely. Now we can just go for an Iron Head here. I don't know what... Okay, he didn't go for his, uh... His obstruct move. Iron Head not doing a whole lot, but oh shit, it's got Counter. Uh-oh. Okay, that kind of hurts. Well, it can counter me one more time. Honestly, that, that'd be fine. Or we could just get an Iron Head flinch. Uh-oh. Here's the number I saved just for this. You lot in the stands better cheer me on. And it has Throat Chop. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> that knocks us out. But at least we can go back into Shading. Not have to worry about the defense drops. And we could even just go for a first impression here. But I feel like it's better to just click Brick Break anyway. Uh, it is faster. Goes for the Shadow Claw. Kinda hurts a little bit. Not really too bad. Finally we're able to get damn Brick Break off. And that's gonna kill it. Is that a crit? It was a crit. That's a Deadass Obstagoon. You would've thought that that would be the Ace Pokemon, but apparently not. Obstagoon is dead. Barney level 48. Wants to learn Boom Burst. Nice. So that is a super good 140 power move that also gets boosted by our ability. And that is insane. So. I'm going to probably actually get rid of Poison Jab. One thing I do want to do uh, with Toxtricity is take it to the Poke Center and go to that area where we can relearn moves. We might get a better... I would love Sludge Bomb. Anyway, last but not least is Skun Tank. So it's neutral to fighting. Doesn't matter. Um, we might as well just go into... We could let Barney do it. We're level 48. We're our highest Mon. Okay, just to make this a little easier on ourselves, let's bring this bad boy in. So I knew eventually we would get Boom Burst. Just seems fitting for this thing. Don't got no encores. Get it? Not songs? I don't do encores. I guess the same thing. But alright, so here's the Skun Tank. He should have done Skun Tank first and then Obstagoon been the ace. But mm, use your Sucker Punch and Toxic. So I'm just gonna already tell me what you're gonna do. Why would you? Why would you tell me your strategy, sir? He does go for actually just a Screech here, which is uh, could pair well with Sucker Punch if he decides to go for that next. We'll see how much this uh, this Overdrive does though. Almost knocks it out. Do you think we could live a Sucker Punch? I think we might be able to. Let's click Boom, boom Burst. He does go for the Sucker Punch. Our defense is hecked. But we still live in. Barney. Too strong. Boom Burst animation looking pretty sweet. I just wanted to see what that looked like. But that is going to do it. And we got ourselves our seventh gym badge. That is Dingro's level along with Nugget 47. Peters has been defeated. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love uh, Toxicity's little victory dance. Me and my team gave it our best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. Get 7,000 buckaroonies. And alrighty. I'm glad we're able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. They sure, uh, they sure do. Well, this place is dirty and I need to get the hell out of here immediately. Here's your dark badge. You know, thank you for the dark badge. I've been... I worked hard for that. Had to beat some, beat up so many of your team yell nerds, and we leave a pretty large slot for our last badge, which is going to be that Dragon Gym. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 55. Here's a uniform too. I've actually been thinking about selling them at my concerts. We get ourselves a dark uniform. Cool. My little sis Marty's going to challenge me next. I bet. That was actually kind of sweet. Your little sis, huh? So you're acting. You were watching sis. I don't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. Let's see how I learned. Battle and all that, that's right. Reminds me, Marty, there's something I wanted to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here in Spike Myth as its gym leader. Ooh. Okay, you plan to retire after the Champion Cup, right? Think you really become a great gym leader. Even if you don't Dynamax your Pokemon, I love you, but my answer is a big fat no. I mean, when I end up becoming champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Ooh, she got a, she got higher goals, sir. In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to be a champion. Thanks for having an amazing Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next to clear off for a bit. So basically, she just tells us to heck off, and we are on our way. You seriously beat Piers? Here's a TM to remember this moment. And we get TM85 for Snarl. So, thank you for that. And, oh. Crazy vibrations. There's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad, even the champions come to sort things out. Oh, hey. You gave Piers a thrashing, didn't you? Should head over there to help. Come on, then. I'll show you the way. Alright, so do we get healed up though? Hold up, bro. I gotta heal. Some shit's going down on Route 9, apparently. Man, this is gonna bring us right out there. Kaboom. 
big old explosion. So Leon's here. Aiden, thanks for coming, but I've got a handle on all this, or on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the goal. What is going on behind the scenes here? Only gym badge left is the one you'll get from the Dragon Gym's leader, Raihan. The only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know? And uh, there I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time for me to be stopping for a chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it. Don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. Big ol' kabooms. What the hell is going on over there? It came from the tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems I'm about to have a champion time. <laughs> so he heads off for his champion duties. And damn it, we didn't get Nelson to evolve. At level 45, we gotta get this thing some more friendship. Man. I just wanna see what you freaking evolve into. Uh, so. We, all we have left is to take on the next gym, which is in Hammerlock. So we can just head out there to the left. We're gonna go right, right into the tunnel and see what the heck's going on over there. It's probably something with Hop. That boy can't keep himself out of trouble. Hello, officer. What's this? The earth is shaking. Maybe if I try to sway in the same way? Nope, not helping. What? Uh, Leon, what are you What are you doing? What's this red light? Did I go the, did I go the wrong way? Can I just squeeze through y'all? Thank you. All right, so they're all just watching. There must be something crazy. Maybe legendary shenanigans? Hey, so Hop is here. Aiden, what's up, buddy? This is mad. You know what I mean? Uh, what was that loud noise? That's what I'd like to know. That noise, it was like some massive explosion. There's this huge surge of light, and then wild Pokemon just started Dynamaxing around me. Brazen as you'd like. What? Um, well, what, mate? So, take a look at the news. Ooh, that's a big ass, uh, one of the Meowth things. See, there's Lee. He really is the greatest, right? He was on the freaking news. Guy is way too famous for us. Lee and his Charizard took down that Dynamax Pokemon in the blink of an eye. I knew Lee was strong, but this really makes you appreciate how great he is. Let's go meet up with him, Hayden. He should be at the Hammerlock Stadium. All right, time to go meet up with Lee again, apparently. There was an Inke in the grass over there, which is cool. All right, so. Oh. I acknowledge his strength. Please, please indulge me in a contest of strength and wits. Was not really expecting a battle here, sir. This is, a, this is a different trainer class. I don't think we've seen gentlemen before. We probably have. I don't know. He's got a Dewblade. Which is a little bit scary. Chiding does not really want to mess with that. So let's go ahead and switch on out here. And we'll go into... We'll go into Dumbo. Wait, this thing probably has Sacred Sword or whatever. Which is likely going to hurt. I was just thinking I want to Bulldoze you. Yeah, we'll see what it goes for. It is just going to aerialize. So we resist that. We're looking good. Great work, Dumbo. Time to bulldoze. Level 44 Dewblade. Pretty scary lad you got here. Okay, so now it's going to actually just Night Slash. That should be fine too, as long as you don't crit me. Yep. The thickest elephant in all the land. I can finish it with another bulldoze. This guy actually has quite a few Pokemon too. What the heck? Alright, Dewblade dead. Dumbo goes to 48. Looking nice. Next is a Poltegeist. Yes, we have not seen a Poltegeist yet. Um, I assume it's just a... Just a ghost type. So, what do we do for you? We could, uh... I mean, we could probably just stay in here, to be honest. Let's just stay in. So, Poltegeist, super cool Pokemon. Little ghost that lives inside of a teacup. I freaking love this thing. Um, let's just, let's just bold. I actually should not have done that. It's gonna Giga Drain. Probably should have looked this thing's type up again before. But, because, I mean, it was introduced to us. It's gonna activate that weak armor, which does lower its defenses, but raises its speed. You know, I just, that made me wonder, is the weakness policy, policy item in this game still? I really don't even know if it is. This thing is just out here setting up. This thing could be a threat, but Bulldoze is the two easy to hit KO. So down goes your little teacup. It kind of looks like it would evolve one more time, though, for some reason. It's just too small. All right, what's next? Passimian. Ooh, we have not seen a Passimian yet, I don't believe. All right, let's just go into Barney for this thing. Give you a nice little rock show. Yeah. 
Interesting they brought back Pessimian. Not, a, not the most popular Pokemon. All right, so he, this is his last Pokemon, Overdrive. Should do the trick here. Just too damn powerful. Toxtricity is an absolute monster. <laughs> My god. Well, thing is dead. I'm just basically waiting for Nelson to grow another level to hopefully get this thing to freaking evolve at some point. Which would be very nice. Might not happen anytime soon, though. What's up? My brilliant Ragnar is the best. She gives me berries she's found when we camp together. Do your Pokemon do that? Guess must be proof how friendly she feels toward me. Interesting. I guess we could play with her Pokemon, but I don't really feel like it. So we're gonna... We're gonna keep on keeping on here. Got one of the Meowth things. Oh, there is a Balm Mushroom here. Did we already have we already battled all these, all these people already? Yeah, we definitely have. I barely remember this route though. We did ourselves a nice loop, so I'm kind of turned around. But if we could just continue this way, it's gonna take us back to Hammerlock. And we have arrived. So time to see what Leon is up to in the old gym. Uh, so we could probably get a heal, but I think we're actually, we are fine. I think we'll be okay. Unless, I mean, unless they want us to just take on the gym right now. Which wouldn't be the best for us, because I do think that it would be nice to get Nelson to evolve. Have a nice little ice, ice mon, I, I assume it remains ice type. So we got a dire hit right there, and Sonya and the gang is all here. Over here. What's happening, folks? Well, if it isn't Hayden. I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I'm the unbeatable champion after all. This guy... <laughs> An overflowing red light, Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot. Yeah, but why? I'm not too... I'm not sure what's going on. The red light could suddenly appear again at any time and we'd have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. Hey, would you look who it is? Gran? <laughs> The chairman called for me. He wanted me to know, or he wanted to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He left everything to that executive lady. We still have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonia. You know, more than anyone about the darkest day, after all. Are you saying the red light and the darkest day are connected? Oh, Lord. You reckon there's anything we could do to help out? Um, there must be. <laughs> sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and give him the old silent nod. Thanks, I appreciate the thought. But all I could ever ask you would be to join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everyone's future safe. Just keep, uh, keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. You know, I kind of wish they would let us help out and stuff. They just basically just keep us going on our gym challenges, but... You're the unbeatable champion, after all. Is this guy unbeatable? I even, I, I can't tell. Okay, and there's something I want to look into. He'll help me, right? Naturally. And they're just gonna head off. So they really just don't give us any information. They just keep us keep us moving. Looks like all we need to, look like we know all we need to do. So, you two clear the gym challenge so we can meet again in the champion cup. Well, I know what I need to do, alright. Defeat that peers once and for all. You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah, Hayden? Raihan's a tough nut to crack. A tough nut to crack, huh? Well. So Big ol' stadium is waiting for us, and we should not go do that yet. Um, one thing I think we should do is head back. Let's actually go to that one person's camp. We could make some curry. We could try to get the friendship up a little bit. That way we could play with the Pokemon, maybe see if our friendship's going to go up. I, other than that, the only real thing to do is just to level it, I suppose. But uh, I did actually find out that it actually takes less friendship levels to get your Pokemon to evolve in this game compared to games in the past, but... Let's talk to you. Maybe there's something to hanging out with this lady. We could, uh... How do I... Wait. Can I camp with you, or do I have to just set up my own camp right here, and then you're with me? I should come play to you. Well, okay, alright. Let's set up our Pokemon camp. I thought it would just let us join in, but I guess not. Well. Seems to be just Darmons here, and look at, uh, look at little Nelson. <laughs> I love him so much. He takes so long to crawl to you. He will literally stay there. It'll take him like 10 minutes to get here. <laughs> like even if we take out our toy, he doesn't, he just does not want to come. Come on, buddy. Run faster, little fella. All right, let's see. Let's buzz out the menu. Let's go into some cooking. And we are going to 
we could start cooking, but I feel like I need more ingredients. Let's go try to let's try to make a cooler curry. Um, we're not gonna camp here, but if we just go right outside of Hammerlock, I think there's a guy that sells ingredients that we have bought from before. Um, but I never. I think I only got like the spices. I don't really remember. Let's go get some some more ingredients. Maybe if we get better ingredients, we'll have a better time. I forgot, we could have probably just flown to the front of Hammerlock, which would have been a little click quicker, but it's fine. We just need our Ice-type boy to evolve before we take on the damn Dragon Leader. I can't believe they're just setting us up right for the 8th Gym Badge right away. But, alright, so, here we are. And was it one of you people that sells shit? Spend my watts. Okay, we can actually buy... Ooh. We can buy some interesting TMs there. And what are you doing, buddy? All right, some fine ingredients. Tin of beans, mixed mushrooms, pack of potatoes, fresh cream, packaged curry. I don't know about the packaged curry. We're about to make some fresh ones. Get a pack of potatoes. And some mixed mushrooms. I mean, we might as well get one of everything, right? And a tin of beans. Oops, yes. $400 for a tin of beans and some fresh cream. We're not going to get the packaged curry, even though it's the most expensive and probably the best. We don't fuck with that package shit, boys. Alright. Uh, so, now let's bust out the Pokemon camp. Let's do, let's do some cooking in it. Not only does it give us more friendship, I think it also increases... Um, it also gives us levels, too, so we could even evolve. Anyway, let's bust out the menu. Go into yield cooking. We are going to start cooking, and let's just toss some shit together. We have a pungent root, sausages, spice mix, pack of potatoes. I think you can actually only use one of these. Let's use pack of potatoes. Everybody loves potatoes. And then we have to select some berries. So let's go with three lepas. We'll go for two chestos. Two palm eggs. And last but not least, one lumberry. Just kidding. We're going to fill it all out, obviously. Tanja berry. We're going for that too. And then one chapel. All right. So we have maximum ingredients here. And it's time to see how this goes. I do suppose there is actually kind of a method to doing this well. I think you're supposed to, like, not fan it, fan it super quickly. You can, like, burn it or something like that. I don't... For the most part, I just mash A, and then when we stir, I just kind of mash that, too. You can see there's little sparkles coming out from the top of it, which I guess shows that you're doing it at the right speed. I don't know, man. I thought this was just, just supposed to mash it. Um, am I supposed to go quicker? Yep, see we see some sparkles, so it means we've got the right speed going. <laughs> we're also getting vibrations, so I'm assuming we're doing it right. I'm gonna really stir this one. And time to put our heart into it, and we're gonna do it right then. I honestly didn't even know that there was like a... There was a little ring there. <laughs> but... The curry has been cooked, and let's see if we get ourselves a better grade. The best we've ever done is the Kamparaja one. It was like the silver medal. Spicy plenty of potato curry, which actually sounds delicious. Also, I think the faster we eat it after, the better it turned out to be, which is not looking too good for us. Okay, so we got Milkery class, which is a bronze. Your Pokemon's HP was restored, any status and were healed. We get ourselves some experience, and Jading and the Plenty, and the rest of your party got quite friendly. So, we're gonna click camping, and... Get ourselves some experience. Dexter goes to 48. Not nearly enough experience, though. Was that a terrible curry? What the hell? Do I have any of the um, experience items? I have tons of old items, though. We have a rare candy. Should I just use a rare candy on Nelson and see if it'll, <laughs> it'll make him evolve? I don't think it will. We get it to level 46, though. Come on, Nelson. Freaking need you to evolve, buddy. Damn it. Well... Ooh, there's actually a raid over there. Should we just go do a raid too? Let's switch things up in today's episode. We're gonna we're gonna take our time, even though we're supposed to be going and taking on uh, the gym. We we honestly are not gonna do it until we can get Nelson to evolve. If it comes down to it, I'll probably just do it. Um, I'll just do it off screen. Oh Jesus, this Lanoon just ran right into me. Why do you like this Lanoon? Please. Oh, we might as well actually kill it, too. We can just give it a brick break to knock your ass right out. 
and in turn get Nelson a little bit of experience. It's kind of just annoying to train Nelson because he only has two moves, and I mean he's really high leveled. When I got Snome, I did not think it was going to be such a damn challenge, but it better be worth it. If old Nelson's so hard to <laughs> so hard to evolve, friendship evolutions have always, always kind of been something that I've avoided, to be honest. Oh, oh, damn it! I tried to avoid, <laughs> tried to avoid the linear. Uh, but we just need to cycle our little, our little legs over to that damn Mac. I think that's a Max raid, actually, the one where, the ones that have like the clouds around it. So we might have to collect, connect to the internet to be able to get people to join that with us. We might even catch ourselves something cool. I haven't really messed around with Max raids too much. Um, but I'm excited to see how this goes. Oh my god, I ran into a fucking Scrafty too. Please, or Scraggy. Well, Cheating's just going to keep on killing things. Because since it's our final gym, I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit difficult. Probably around level 50. Which means that whatever happens after, like when we battle Leon, that dude's probably rocking like level 60s, 70s, man. It's going to be... Going to be a little bit of a challenge. Okay. We've made it. So hopefully that shit doesn't end by the time we get there. That would be annoying. Wait for me, people. I haven't seen a lot of these... All of those things around. Like, every time I'm messing around in the wild area, there's a Sarina right there. Every time in, I'm in the wild area, I never see those. Ooh, also a clay doll. I've never seen a clay doll before. Okay. We have arrived. Hopefully I don't run into anything. Nice. Alright. I think I need to connect to the internet this way. And then... Okay, so we're going to hit plus to connect to the internet. And we'll see if we can get some actual people to join in on us. It would be actually, it'd be really cool if some of you that are now watching this video, days after I'm doing this, were find out that you were in this raid. But alright, we're connected to the internet, now we're just going to see what's happening here. Energy pouring from out the den. Gain 300 watts. And is that a Shenotic? I have no idea. Invite others. So yeah, Grass and Fairy, yeah, that's a Shenotic. I didn't see the, <laughs> I didn't see the typing there. But, oh, this is actually not the best for us. We don't have the best uh, freaking typings against against a grass and fairy. Barney does not have... Oof. We could just, we could just go Dumbo. Let's go Dumbo. Alright, we'll see if we can get anybody to join us. I don't know if anybody wants to... Wants to join in on a Shenotic raid. I thought this was going to be something... A little more interesting. Does Shenotic have a, a, a Gigantamax form? I have no idea. But we might as well... Might as well search. There's two minutes on the timer. I don't know... Really how this works? I mean, we're searching for people. Which I'm assuming means on people's menus they can be like, Hayden is looking for someone to help out with uh, a Shenotic. We could always just try to do it by ourselves. I think it does assign you three NPC players, which generally suck, but... Battle ends when Pokemon faint four times, or the battle lasts, lasts for ten turns, so... That is rather interesting. I kind of just want to see how this... See how this goes, since I've never... Never done one of these crazy-ass-looking raids. But please, we only have a minute and thirty left. I realize the tail end of this video is kind of... Been me just messing around, but that, that it's one of the better things to do in this game is just, just pick to kind of explore. So we're just dicking around, see if we can get ourselves a Shenotic. Please, it's less than a minute and a half left. Minute and a half left. We might have to just do it with NPC trainers. I would actually like to do this with you guys, with viewers on stream. We could find find raids to mess up. Okay, literally a minute left, so I don't know if I should just say ready to battle and go for it. It'd be really ideal if we had a poison type that's powerful. I don't know if I even... Do I even want to do this Shenotic? I mean, we might as well. We've waited this long. Kaparaja can iron head it, I guess, but I don't think it's going to do very much. I'm pretty sure these things are powerful as hell. We probably need more people to freaking help us, but we're just gonna we're just going to go for it. You don't have four trainers. We'll find some other trainers to help you out. Sure. <laughs> so the NPCs they give you are stupid. I honestly do not think we're going to win this, but... 
I suppose all we can do is give it our best shot. So, these are our NPCs. And this is our scary ass genotic. Oh my god, that cry was ridiculous. Well. We can Dynamax, which is cool. Let's go ahead and just do that turn one. And let's go for this Max Steel Spike. Okay, so the people with us have a Pikachu and a Jolteon. Why? Why are you guys doing this to me? Do we get to see this thing like Gigantamax? Very large elephant. Okay, so we're level 48, so this might be... Might be difficult. I feel like you need to have higher levels for this shit. Next, Jolteon is going to Swift. Look at that damage. Palucha going to Wing Attack. Okay, doing a, doing a decent bit of damage there. Pikachu's got Iron Tail too. Okay, these people know what they're doing, but did it miss? What the hell? Okay, so it isn't actually Gigantamax. It's just Dynamax. I thought that ones... I thought the ones that had... Like, the clouds all crazy made it... Like, ensured that it was a Gigantamax one. Well, Jolteon dies, and that goes one of our faints. Only four Pokemon can faint. This is not looking good. The storm raging above you is growing stronger. Hey, at least we get, a, we get off a max steel spike. We'll see how much this does. Okay, a solid chunk. We only have two turns left on this, though, so hopefully this works out. Also, that does boost our defenses. Shinotic is getting desperate. Oh, what? Oh, he's got a shield? Freaking barrier appeared. Oh, my God. This is not good. We're just gonna <laughs> click Steel Spike again. Alicia is now gonna Flying Press, which does just knock out the shield. Also, Effect Spore is going to freaking poison the Halucha. Oh my god, this Shinotic is an OP, OP as hell. World's most OP Shinotic. This thing is going to absorb, lands on a Pikachu, and it freaking gets some health back, which is annoying as hell. Oh, it's. Wait. Why did you get a Strength Sap now? Bruh. It's just getting more health. Okay, this Steel Spike is apparently just gonna hit the... Okay, we do a tiny bit of damage to it. We only get one more, and we've broken its shield, which I guess is good. The barrier has gone away, and also we lowered its defenses harshly. Nice. Why did that happen? Okay, so everybody's getting health because of the grassy terrain, right, I assume? And, oh, what's going on here? Pokemon recovered from fainting. Nice. She gets to send out her Jolteon again. We could only afford three more faints, which I don't think will happen. Maybe we might be able to beat this bad boy. Jolteon's gonna swift. Why are you why do you have a Jolteon here? Flying press is at least helpful. That does a lot. Nice. Iron Tail and this Oh my god, it avoided it. The Iron Tail is missed like both times. It is gonna max overgrowth this time. And it's on the Halucha, and that actually kills it, so. That's annoying. That was the Halucha was the only freaking helpful one. What the heck? So the storm is growing stronger. Now it gets to strength sap. Why do you get to attack more times than me? Drops my attack, which is extremely annoying, and it gets a fuck ton of health back. My god. This is unfair. Ooh, the max steel spike just about knocked it out, though. We've got you right where we want you, Shinotic. As long as you don't have more shields. Fighting the world's largest mushroom here. So it's going to end our Dynamax turns. But I think we've done enough damage. Okay, let's uh, let's iron head you. I really wish I was faster so I could go first. So the Jolteon gets off swift. Pikachu, please land the Iron Tail. It does. Yes. But the effect spore happens, but it, it's dead, right? Oh. Pikachu fell asleep. But the Shinotic has fainted. Nice. So we can throw a Pokeball now. We get a chance to catch this thing. So let's do it. Oh, I accidentally just threw a regular Pokeball at it. This is Probably not gonna freaking catch it. Uh oh. I mashed A way too quickly. Why have I done this? Meant to use an Ultra Ball. I, I assume it matters. Okay. Big ol' shaky shakes. Big ol' shaky shake. Yes. Does that mean I caught it? Nice! Well, we got ourselves a Shenotic. This is not something I'm gonna even use, but I guess. That's kind of cool. I know that you get cool items from this, though. So, damn it, I mashed A again way too quickly. We've got, we got a bunch of candies and stuff, which is sweet. Shinada got into the Pokedex, flickering spores, lure in prey, and put them to sleep once this Pokemon has its prey. Snoozing it drains their vitality with its fingertips. That is spooky as shit. We're not going to give you a nickname. 
going to just send you to a box. But, uh, cool. Well, we did it. So that was kind of fun. And now it's gone. So. Let's take a look at our bag now, because I know that we got some stuff. Um, we have medium EXP candy. Ooh, five large experience candies, which is cool. And a rare candy. So let's go for... Should we use a medium one on Nelson? Let's use all three of them. Maybe candies is not actually what we should even be doing. Nelson grew to level 47. Damn it, Nelson. Do candies, like, lower your friendship? I have no idea. We could even go check out this other, like, regular raid over here. There's a couple of them around, too. This one doesn't have the... This one just doesn't have the, like, crazy-looking stuff around it, so... Assuming it's not going to be anything as crazy, but it might be something new and cool. So we're going to just check it out, since it's right here. What is up? Alright, so we get 300 watts. And... Bug and Psychic. What is that? I think it's that ladybug thing. Let's invite others. We'll see if anybody wants to freaking join us on this one. It's only three stars, so we could likely just eat, beat this one easy. We could just do ready to battle. We'll give people... A little, how do you get people to join you on these? I have no idea. It seems like it's really difficult to get actual people to help you out. But a bug and psychic type... Could be interesting. This is... It's definitely... The evolved form of that dollar thing. Oh wait, I didn't want to use Fart Surfetched. Hold up. Oh god. There's no way to go back now. Oh, hey, we got a we, we got a guy that's bringing us Frozmoth. Drew, what's up, buddy? I accidentally... Oh Jesus, I accidentally brought Surfetched. I meant to change. Now he's gonna bring us Scorch. Alright. Oh Jesus. This has been an occurring problem with me today. Just mashing A way too quickly. I forgot that I needed to change my Pokemon. Why did I bring a fucking Surfetched? This guy's probably like, oh, he's got the same jacket as me. Real guy. Okay, so yeah, it is the Dottler. I guess it's not even the evolved form. But I think... I mean, we could go for... <laughs> we could go for a Dynamax first impression move. But dude, this is terrible. It resists all my moves. Why have I done this to myself? Can I switch? I guess we can just look at that. This guy's level 51 Centiscorch. Pretty decent. All right. Let's just hope that this guy knows what he's doing with the Scent Scorch. We are going to go for... I guess we have Max Darkness, which is good. Let's go for a Max Flutterby first. Why is there always a Jolteon? Okay. So, we're gonna get big. I assume that we're the only ones that are able to Dynamax, just because we're the ones that started the raid, I, I guess. We are now a very large Surfetched. Ready to whoop some ass. Terrible Pokemon to be using here. But it's fine. Everything is fine. This one should be a lot easier than the last one. Yeah, that Electro Ball. Doing easy damage. Oh, oh yeah. This guy's hacked. It's getting desperate, so it does actually activate the shield. This guy's got a, big, a better shield. What the hell? Leech Life at least knocks out one of them. Time to absolutely max flutter by the shit out of you, sir. Okay, so we break two of the shields and do a little bit of damage. So this next turn, we should be able to do it. We get a crit, too. Of course we do. Max Mindstorm. Lands on that guy's Scorch, which is kind of ouch. And it does set up the Psychic Terrain, I believe. Battlefield got weird. Dollar's now going to Confusion me, which is super effective and hurts. But now we can, I guess, let's go for let's go for a max darkness. See how this works. I actually probably should have been using max darkness in the first place, but it's fine. Electro Ball knocks out one of the shields. Weavile's Assurance knocks out the rest. And it's game over for you, little Dottler. I actually don't even have one of these things yet, so it's kind of cool. Defense harshly fell. Special defense as well. And this Leech Light is probably just going to do it. Yep. <laughs> we only had to attack once. But the Dottler has been defeated. And look at us, we did two raids today. Throw a Pokeball now. Alright, do I get to choose? We're gonna catch. Let's try, uh... I have so many. We're just gonna go for an Ultra Ball. Might as well. Let me have you, little Dottler. 
Man, you could really rack up the level items doing a bunch of raids. You do like 20 of these damn things, you're gonna have so many rare candies, or like the equivalent. Whatever those new rare candies are. So, the Dottler has been caught. Seems relatively easy to catch these low level ones. Very interesting. So we get ourselves five medium. Dynamax candy, rare candy, lumberry, kelpsy berry. Nice. Some decent items there. And dollar added to the Pokedex. So bug and psychic type is actually a pretty pretty interesting typing. We're just gonna send you to a box. I'll probably never touch you again, but thank you. Alright, thanks to that shout out to that one guy that actually helped me. That was That was nice. Well guys. It's looking like I'm going to have to go ahead and try to get this damn Nelson's friendship up, but next episode, we will have this thing ready to evolve. Mark my words. As I burp. <laughs> you will rue the day if you just stay a damn little larva. I'm really surprised the thing hasn't evolved already. But anyways, guys, we are going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.